morning, Britain. It's make or break for Boris Johnson as now police officers give evidence to the Partygate inquiry. It comes as the Prime Minister faces calls to hold an independent inquiry into claims by a former minister. She was sacked because colleagues were uncomfortable with her Muslim faith. Boris Johnson insists that the party isn't over on his premiership. Not only, Susanna, do we have those claims from Nuznat Ghani, but today also Dominic Cummings gets the opportunity to topple his former boss. The United States is ordering the families of its embassy staff in Ukraine to leave the country amid heightened fears of military action by Russia. Here, there are warnings that an invasion will lead to even higher gas and petrol prices. Despite continuing protests by NHS staff across the country, the Department of Health tells Good Morning Britain it intends to press ahead with mandatory vaccinations for health staff. The weather this week, much as it was last week. Cloudy for many of us, largely dry, but there will be some sunshine as we head through the week. All the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Monday, 24th of January, 2022. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reid and Ed Balls. Good morning, Britain. It has just gone six o'clock. Welcome to the programme. Welcome back to the programme, Ed Balls. Well, you've seen some shenanigans in government in your time. What do you make of what's happening right now? Just listening to uh, Spandau Ballet there, of course, your indestructible might apply to the Prime Minister. Will it all come to an end this week? Well, this is going to be the absolutely vital week and uh, we'll get the Sue Gray report. It's reported that Dominic Cummings is going to be in giving his evidence yeah today and uh, I think